why do my jerseys have a specialized logo? I said Strava logo on there, on the back, and it's gone. Um, people are like, you can't ride a giant, have trek on your shorts, and specialize on your jersey. You just can't do that. That's for like, Velo Manuminati laws, six, six, six violation, during rider. You can't do that. Look, I'm not the average. Shall I take the elevator so I can keep talking? Um, actually, no, if I can take the stairs. I always take the stairs, but it's a bit loud. I'm going to take the elevator so I can get close and intimate with doing rider. I'm not the average pretentious roadie out there. I you know, wear the jawbreakers and the cast come up, that's more just taking the piss. Um, yeah, like some, some people literally won't wear a jersey because it's got like a Specialized or a Cannondale or a Trek logo or whatever. And it's like, man, what else? You know, I think you put too much importance on, on something. Um, I'm not gonna wear a jersey that says, you know, go pally on it, but you know. I'm not afraid to follow, follow the bigger flag. So why does my jerseys have Trek or Specialized or whatever? I love specialized product, I love track product, I love all of it. Some of it's absolutely shocking shit, but some of it's legit. I've been using specialized products since 1994. Uh, so I'll, I'll rate a lot of their stuff, saddles, shoes, bikes, some, not all of it's great. I can't have me everything, but, uh, so I, I like specialized product. It just features a lot in my bike buyer's guide, and I definitely rate it, you know, definitely rate it. So if you have an issue, with mixing up your parts on your bike, you know, if you've got a giant or a trek or a specialized, you can't have a logo on your jersey because it's from different corporate intensity or you're scared of being sued or whatever. It's like, I mean, that'd be hilarious if Dura Rider gets sued by a big cycling corporate company. I can you imagine on cycling news, uh, you know, how, how crazy that would be? That would be that would be like a bit of a, a career highlight for me. Um, you know, can you imagine the, the forums would go, the internet would break? Specialized suits Dura Rider or Trek suits Dura Rider or something like that, that would be fucking hilarious. You know, that would be, that, I would feel pretty special that I had that much impact that a, a big company would do that. But anyway, so I like the specialized product. I love flying the flag. Um, you know, if you're not using some specialized product or if you've never used a Trek or a specialized or whatever, some sort of product, then you're probably missing out. They do have some fantastic product out there. The BB30 OSBB, I don't like. I don't like that at all. And that's the reason why I don't ride a tarmac at the moment. So. And the, the SL6, which I think is a fantastic bike, but that that BB setup's just got to go. It's just got to go in my book. I'm not, not going to put an adapter. I'm not going to spend 200 bucks on a BB Infinite adapter for a five thousand dollar frame. I'm just I'm just going to get I'm just going to get a Chinese SL6. It doesn't have to worry about that. So hopefully that answers the question. Why does Dune Rider have fake Oakley frames with a legit Oakley lens, and vice versa? Why do I have a fake cask because? The genuine casts are made out of leather, and I don't want—I don't wear leather, you know. So this is a fake cast because it's made out of plastic chin strap. If it was an original cast that had plastic, I'd buy that. But I'm not—I'm not, I'm not going to support a technology that I don't really like, you know. If, I, if I'm going to avoid it, especially with something as simple as that. My bike seats, specialized plastic. All right. Some people go, you can't put a specialized cell on a giant. I do, and it fucking works. Like, <laughs> don't be so pretentious, man. You know, pretentious means putting importance in something that doesn't fucking matter, and that could be yourself. I, I'm a roadie, I can't be seen wearing a Specialized or a Trek jersey, or I can't mismatch my items. Come on, let me trigger someone. Strap out, strap in. All right, some people just take shit too seriously. Some people take shit way too seriously. We've got, we've got Specialized, oh, I'm wearing, I'm wearing Bontrager socks, I'm wearing shorts. <gasps> I'm wearing shorts with a cycling jersey and running shoes and bond trucker cycling socks. Oh my god, I call the fashion police doing what it's gone crazy. These Muppets burn themselves out, they'll be riding for a couple of weeks or a couple of years, think they're fucking Peter Sagan or whatever. And then they're, yeah, it's crazy. I've met Peter Sagan, very approachable guy. These pretentious roadies on forums, not approachable at all. Just tosses. So anyway, stay chill, avoid being a pretentious roadie fuck. Let's be ambassadors for cycling, let's get more motherfuckers on bikes. Let's, decongest the roads of traffic. You know, I'm not one of those persons who put a 12 grand, my 12 grand bike on top of an Audi. My 12 grand bike, I'll put, I'll put myself on top of that. It doesn't go on top of my Audi, it ain't my fucking car. You know, and these people just, they're too serious. Just relax a bit. Get some mountain bike shoes on your road bike. The, the worst one I see is gravel bike riders with fucking road shoes. <laughs> and they're walking up the gravel climbs in their Shimano or Bon or whatever shoe, road shoes. I'm just like, oh my God. The pretentiousness factor. I can't wear mountain bike shoes on the road bikes. People might think I'm a Duran Rider fan or whatever.